Welcome to another episode of Armadillo Pepper TV. Today I'm going to show you how to grill wings and get crispy wings on your grill every time. I don't care what kind of sauce you want to use. Have you ever grilled wings and had them get darker than you wanted, look burnt, uh, be soggy? Um, it's happened to most all of us when we first started grilling. Today I'm just going to show you a couple of very easy techniques well, these wings on your grill will turn out perfect every time. Okay, so what is the key for crispy wings on a grill? Cooking them under indirect heat. This particular grill has three burners. I've got both of these burners on. But yet, I've got this one set on its lowest setting. In fact, you could even turn it off. Um, ch chicken wings have a lot of skin and fat compared to the amount of uh, meat. So what you want to do is render the fat off these guys. Um, so I'm just going to sit them over here on the indirect side. If you have a small grill, no worries. You can actually even have these touching for this part of the cook. Uh, all we want is this fat to render off. I'm just going to set all these guys over here on my burner that's turned all the way down to low. And we're just going to let these the fat render off of these, just like if they were in an oven uh, under a low heat. And you can see I've got them really close. Again, no worries about that. Now, um, you could just season these with salt or pepper. What I'm using, I just love this on chicken, it's just Stubbs uh, chicken rub. But again, it's not so important the seasoning you use. Um, it's not going to matter the seasoning, the sauce you want, whatever. This technique will work for any kind of wings on the grill. Uh, the important thing is to cook these guys nice and slow and let this fat come off. Oh, it's been 20 minutes. Just want to turn these over. You can already see they're starting to get a little crispy. And what we'll do is let this fat continue to render off these wings for about 20 more minutes. And then we'll get into the sauce mode. Now as I mentioned, this technique will work with any wing sauce you want to prepare. Today, I'm making a sriracha honey sauce, so let's get it started while these wings are finishing up. First thing we want to do is add a half a stick of butter. I'm going to add the juice of one lime, a tablespoon of teriyaki sauce, Going to add a third of a cup of sriracha sauce. Good. If you don't like the heat, you can cut it back to a quarter of a cup. If you like the heat, you can add a little bit more. And then I'm going to add a third of a cup of honey. Look, as far as I'm concerned, you could add a half a cup of honey. You cannot have too much honey. Then what we're going to do, got a heaping teaspoon of garlic, and I've got a quarter cup of cilantro, but I'm going to save about half of it. So in this sauce you want to put about an eighth of a cup. Now we're just going to render this down a little bit until it gets nice and thick. Okay, it's been 40, 45 minutes. Look at these wings. Can, I, can you hear them? They're crispy. Now yeah, what we're going to do is toss them in that sauce we made. Just going to get these guys good and coated. Now you could serve these wings up right now just like this. And I'm going to tell you what I like to do. I like to put these back on the grill 
for just a few minutes to let this sauce caramelize. Now you put a lot of effort in this by this time, and I'm putting it over low heat. So you want to make sure you keep a close eye because this can burn in a heartbeat. So just make sure if you're going to put them back on the grill to caramelize this sauce that you keep a very close eye on. And it probably goes without saying, but do not turn this side back on where you, where you had the wings under indirect heat because there's a bunch of fat under here now and you'll get a ginormous flare up. So don't put your wings there. Now I'm just going to take some of that extra cilantro we had. Now you could do this on the plate. Just going to put a little bit of that cilantro on here, kind of, you know, for garnish. We've got our wings all plated up. Just look at the collar. I'm telling you, if you'll slow cook these indirect heat, they'll be great every time. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy on the outside, really moist on the inside. This sauce is great, by the way. But, you know, this technique works. I don't care what kind of sauce um, you're going to use. Just a couple things, right? One, cook over indirect heat. It's going to take you 40 minutes, could take you uh, 50 or so, depends on what your grill setting's at. And then after you put them in the sauce, if you put them back on the grill, make sure you keep a close eye on them. I'm telling you, these are really good. Hey, mm. thanks for watching another episode of Armadillo Pepper TV. I hope you hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss a new episode.